What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can stop or prevent Windows 10 from updating uh, Windows using the Windows update now sometimes if you've got issues with your computer maybe you've got a driver issue or a piece of hardware and it wants to un download uh, a patch or something from the internet uh, from Microsoft's uh, update center what happens is sometimes that patch might not be compatible with your computer with something and it's causing an issue now you go to uninstall that patch which is doable uh, but the problem is if you don't set it up right it will automatically install that patch again now it's not advisable to stop Windows 10 updates completely for a permanent reason because obviously uh, your, your system would become at risk for security holes and uh, fixes and stuff like that especially in these early stages uh, so I'd advise you just to temporarily disable this if you're having issues with your computer with some sort of driver issue or or some sort of hardware issue and you've had a, an update from Windows so let's get started and show you some simple ways of going about it now Microsoft have brought out a tool which temporarily uh, prevents an update of Windows um, and stuff like that so you can download this tool and what it's going to do is allow you to uh, hide and stop those updates from coming down temporarily uh, so you can get a fix for it until Microsoft have brought a fix out so there's the tool here you can download it here for free I will put the link in the description and what it simply does is it's one of these type of tools that allow you to go into um, show or hide updates and we're gonna go next it's gonna try and detect a problem and then what you can do is then put a tick in to disable that issue so you can see here select updates that you want Windows then to automatically update and install or you can hide them so you can click on the hide and say for instance we wanted to do this one we could then go ahead and it will then block that update from coming down until you reverse the cycle so pretty much that's how you can stop it there so that's one way of going about it another way uh, which is a bit more severe to to do to the system but it, it's handy to know so I'm going to show you it so I'm going to come down to this uh, start button here right click on this and we're going to go to control panel once we get into control panel if you're seeing this category icons here you can come up to where it says category and show small and then what we're going to do is go into administrative tools once we get into administrative tools we want to come down to where it says services click on that and then what we want to do is uh, pull this down until you see Windows updates here you can see Windows update click on this and this box will open up and you can see the general tab here Windows update set to manual what you'd want to do is click on disable and stop okay so you want to stop that first click it to disable and then apply and OK and this will actually stop uh, the update so that's one way of doing it as well another way if you're running a uh, Windows 10 professional and above you can do this way as well so we're going to go to the start button here and we're going to go to where it says settings and then we're going to pull this down a bit where it says update and security now if you're running Windows 10 professional you can make this change if you're running uh, uh, running Windows 10 home then you can't so you can click on the advanced tab here and this will give you the advanced Windows update options so you can see this there are different up upgrades if you click on this you can see here some Windows 10 editions let you defer upgrades uh, to your PC basically when you defer upgrades new Windows features won't be downloaded or installed for several months this is a great feature if you're having issues with that area you can then um, put that feature on and then turn it off when you're ready to install so you've got this option but Windows uh, Home I don't think have this option I'm not too 100% sure but I think that's uh, correct in saying that this doesn't have this option also uh, this option here where you can pull down and notify to schedule restart you can select this um, like this for temporary uh, measures and then what will happen is it will ask you to restart and install and you can keep delaying that uh, install until you get a fix for it so there's another issue uh, fixer there that you can use 
Also, the last one, which will be uh, for Windows Pro and above, you can use the Group Policy Editor. So to do that, we can come down to here and type gpedit.msc, just like so. And then we can open this up. And then what you want to do here is you want to pull this open. And you want to come down to where it says Computer Configuration here, and then Administrative Templates. Pull this little tab down come down to Windows Components let me open this up a little bit further so you can see here so once we get down to here we want to punch down to let's see Windows Updates there we go let me just pull this open so you can see that so once you get here you can see we've got the uh, DEFA upgrade there as well so you can see here gives you a bit more information of what you can do so you can also make changes to this from here as well if you are running the Windows 10 Pro or above and you've got also here configure automatic updates this is the area you want to go into here and what you can do here is make a change uh, to this you want to enable this option here and then you can see here uh, notify for download and notify for install if you select that option that will then stop uh, the installation of that and you can apply and OK that if you wish and that will not uh, install those options for you so we've got this uh, and if you wanted to reverse that all you'd need to do is open this back up and then change this to not configure now also disabled here is a feature as well uh, which you could do uh, if you wanted to and read all about that but we're going to leave that as is there the other option is to um, you can see here uh, auto download and notify for install if you did it to this one this will uh, only download auto download the file but it won't install it until you ask it to do so so there's the other option uh, there as well so that's pretty much that that's how you can uh, stop or prevent Windows 10 updates from happening on your Windows 10 operating system so you can diagnose and fix issues with your computer. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. My name is Brian from biotechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or any questions or video requests or anything like that you can head over to my forums. The information is on the screen right now. So thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support guys. Have a great week and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.